hello collective welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you for watching feel free to like comment subscribe share do whatever it is your spirit is leading you to do if you are just being guided to watch the video thank you for doing that as well so let's go ahead and see what in the name of source is going on here um for me i am seeing two queen of cups in this story and two queen of cups each having very different endings um so we have a queen of cups that is having some type of new beginning in love here um this is someone nurturing kind you know the basics about the queen of cups this is someone that's very much uh compassionate um they love freely not expecting anything back um these are people that walk around with their hearts out on their sleeves and things like that so they're very genuine and sincere people you want to have in your life. But this is a Queen of Cups that has some type of new beginning coming in for her, and this is in love. Um, this is going to be like a love offer that is um, filled with reciprocity. There is something in here where someone may be wanting to steal this new beginning from this Queen of Cups. Um, it could be another Queen of Cups. So this would be a Queen of Cups in the reverse, but this person is having some type of tower moment. It's almost as though the Queen of Cups Queen of Cups that's having a tower moment was trying to pin herself up to be the Queen of Cups that's supposed to be having the new beginning. So this is like someone being in some type of silent competition with you, or it could be like an out there competition with you, but you just aren't around to know that the competition is going on. Or this is someone that is in competition with another woman and the other woman may not even be paying her any attention. Um, this is what we have here. So this someone, this person, this Queen of Cups, I'm going to consider her a queen of cups in reverse because a queen of cups upright will not go through any of that headache or heartache to pose as something that they are not. Queen of cups are genuine people. So the queen of cups reversed is trying to steal some type of new beginning from her fellow woman, right? This is someone that may feel entitled, is a little bit rebellious on the wild side of things. Um, so that's what we have on going on here. I'm going to focus on the Queen of Cups that has this new beginning coming in for a little bit. So this is someone that is a bit of an outsider. This is someone maybe that has been among people for a long time that do not reside in their heart space, do not operate from their heart space. So this Queen of Cups may have felt like an outsider looking in for a very long time. Um, this is someone that is a little bit on the rebellious side of things for her to be a Queen of Cups. Uh, for him to be a queen of cups as we know tarot um energy is fluid in tarot so this person is a little bit rebellious but this is someone extremely hard working maybe waiting for some type of success to come to them they may be working towards something and they are awaiting their success they're waiting to reap the benefits of their hard labor this person's path is cleared by the universe someone something is being illuminated about this person and to this person it's almost as though you are on a path and you don't know where their path is leading you don't know if you are 100 percent on the right path and this is the universe letting you know that here you are on the right path um so you just need to keep going uh stay in that positive energy of yours do not let it go do not let anyone take that away from you uh if if you have people around you that are trying to step in your energy try to keep you in a low vibrational energy. You need to remove yourself away from those types of people because the universe is guiding you on this path, even though it may seem like you are lost or you are just wandering or you are unsure about where you're going, you are being guided. So it's going to all work out for you. There is some type of sudden revelation going on about someone having some type of victory or some something, right? And this is because this was planned. This victory was planned in the background. Someone was expecting, it's not so much so that they had a victory, it's that someone was expecting or a group of people were expecting to have some type of victory against you, the Queen of Cups, also showing up out here as an Empress energy. So this group of people were planning something behind the scenes to block your finances. These people wanted you waiting and waiting and waiting for something that belongs to you right but it is still going to be presented to you but what it was is that this group of, this group of people group of karmics want what it is that belongs to you so if it's finances they want that finance if it's a relationship there's a queen of cups in the reverse within that group 
that wants to have the relationship that you are meant to be in. It's almost like someone wanting your soul contract because their soul contract is not as fulfilling because this person has not done the work to heal. So the energy that they naturally reside in, I just saw a shadow in my room, you guys. I'm not afraid, but it just kind of swooped really fast uh, across my door. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Welcome. If you are a negative energy, you're not welcome in my space. You need to be gone. If you are a benevolent energy, welcome in my space. I give you permission to be here. Um, so it's almost as though this woman is trying to steal your soul contract, steal your energy, right? Um, but her energy does not match yours. And you two are not even from the same lineage. So it's kind of complicating things for her, not for you, because whatever is meant for you is always going to make its way to you as the universe has it set up. The universe we operate in and live in is one of high moral standards. There are laws and rules put in place. It operates on principle, right? So what is what this person is doing is out of principle, which means that balance has to be brought into this situation. And this is why this person is experiencing some type of tower. This uh this one-sided competition this woman has been in is being brought to an end excuse me this is a competition that this woman has gone above and beyond this person could have even gone to the extent of creating some type of smear campaign creating committing crimes and stuff like that just to prevent two people from having some type of new beginning in love in life in work in business something of that nature but a group of people have gone to a very very high extent to block something from coming together and this is a soul contract this i don't think sometimes and i say this often but it's almost as though people that reside in negativity they don't understand the repercussions or maybe some of them are just so far gone that they don't care about the repercussions of their actions um so it's like everything these people have been planning for you is what's coming back to them. And this is the natural way of the universe, right? So if someone has not picked a fight with you, you don't help, someone doesn't cause you any problem. They're not coming to you, stealing anything from you, undercutting you, underhanding you, taking anything from you that does not belong to you. And you decide to pick a fight with them. Obviously, the universe is going to bring balance into that situation because you are in the wrong. That is how it's, it always is. I don't care what you call the, the supreme God or supreme being that you serve, whether it's God, the universe, source, spirit, whatever it is, there's always balance that that being is going to bring into place because the universe, as I said, we live in operates on principle, logic, and morals, okay? So as humans, a lot of us may like morals or we may choose to avoid morals, but in the end, it does play a very in, uh, imperative role and central role in how things operate in our lives and in our lifetimes, right? And our soul contract. So these people have been working extremely hard. They came up with this plan. Someone thought they had it all figured out. The head of the group, possibly this Queen of Cups in reverse. This is someone extremely stubborn, someone that is just a uh, just set on taking you down this person is taking something personal that you don't even know anything about you're not a part of and even if you knew about it you wouldn't want to be a part of it because it's so low vibrational so that'll let you know that should let you know that this person has a lot of healing to do and we're not here to judge this person or these people because we have all had different paths walk different paths in life and there's a reason why they are that way but at the end of the day it does not justify a group of people coming together to take one person down. Um, and then the nonsense of it all is that if you've been trying to take someone down, because this reading, most of my reading, this same group of people keep coming up. If you all have been trying to take someone down for so long and it's still not, so you're still not succeeding, shooting you, let it go. But no, these are people that are so far gone in their brokenness um that they don't care someone is just set on taking you down like that is their one life satisfaction that they want to have where they wake up one day and say i took an earth angel down i took one of the most powerful earth angels down but it's not going to happen um so every day that this person wake up every day that this group wakes up and 
comes up with another scheme to take you down, they are just accumulating more endings and towers for themselves. That is how they're set up. They wanted to block your forward movement. They wanted you waiting for some type of financial payout, resource, or something like that. They do not want people seeing the truth about you. This is something they've been trying to block. These people don't want you embracing yourself. They don't want you loving yourself. They don't want you being confident in anything like that. They don't want people to know that you are smart, intelligent, brilliant, Anything that's positive about you, they've been working extremely hard behind the scenes to hide. They want you living in fear, but unfortunately, they, they are the ones living in fear now. They are the ones mentally conflicted, not knowing which decision, what choices to make, because a lot of them are being advised to see things from a higher perspective and to move on with their lives because everything they're doing to take you down is just not going anywhere and it's not meant to go anywhere. It's almost as though a group of people were placed in your life to do stupid and silly things, immature things to help you ascend. So it's almost like people were put on the earth simply for you, like for the purpose of you, right? So every malicious, malicious action that they take against you is just meant to elevate you, right? Uh, so whether they want to accept that or not, that is up to them. Uh, I would think that people that are so heavily involved in magic would know what what is going on. If you're picking a fight with someone, trying to cause someone mental instability, emotional instability, and things like that, and they are not reacting to you, wouldn't you let go of the fight, kind of just drop your swords and walk away? But no, it's ego. It is ego for these people, it's narcissism, it's a, 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 a maliciousness. Some of these people are just wicked at heart. They don't know any other way to be. So this is their life goal, right? Their life purpose to take you down. So you just keep moving forward in life. I can see you're taking charge of your life and just moving on. There is someone in here who is a queen of cups that may be choosing to walk away and find healing because this person is realizing this very thing that I'm saying, that nothing they do is meant to take you down. Um, it's almost like the universe is using these people for your ascension. You are someone that's extremely special. You've been showing up in my readings as the star a lot, uh, uh, the temperance energy, the empress, uh just a lot of different uh divine and benevolent energies in my reading so you are not someone that's easy to take down you are not meant to take down it's like you're you are an ascendant master and these are humans coming after you that could be learning a lot from you but they have too much ego to humble themselves but they are being humble and forced to walk away because this mindset that they are living in is just not working for them. There could be a queen of wands in here that ha that is extremely superficial and does things for money, will pretend to be an empress energy in order to get what it is that she wants from people, whereas you are the opposite. You are a queen of wands, empress, queen of cups. So you are all of the queens in the deck. I wouldn't be surprised if I shuffled and the queen of pentacles fell out here. I do believe that you are every queen in the deck because my readings that I have been doing, that is how it's been coming out. You've been showing up as every queen in the deck and then some as the star, the temperance, and you know, the page of, uh, of cups and things like that. Uh, so you are someone extremely special, but there's a queen of cups in here that has a thing for pretending to be what is what she's not. She may have done this to establish some type of collaboration union relationship with a masculine energy the one you were supposed to have some type of new beginning with um but it did not go according to plan for her um it's almost like she was trying to trap this masculine to her so that it would prevent him from coming towards you but you and this person may have a soul contract so there's really nothing this person can do um you know the disappointing thing is that a lot of us in a, a lot of us women sometimes in life we tend to focus our worth on what men we're with or how much attention we get from men is like but it's like at the end of the day it, that should really have nothing to do with it um for me specifically i really don't sit around wondering if a man likes me if he doesn't like me am i going to be in a relationship this and that and is and i'm not saying that because i don't want to be in a relationship i'm just saying that's not my focus my focus is being stable in life having a happy home with my children 
things of that nature, having a clean heart, a pure heart, a clear mind, right? Treating people kindly, being uh, uh, modest with myself and things like that. Self-respect, basically, just being grounded all around. Those are my focuses. If a man come, if a man come around and he's interested in me, okay, good for you. But okay, I get have to get to know you. Like I'm not in a, a rush to be in a relationship. Um, I know the whole thing is a lot of women sometimes say, "Oh, I don't need a man. I don't. I can do this, honey. That's not me. That's not me." Okay, we all need a counterpart. We all need our counterparts. Okay. You don't need men, but you need the man that you are supposed to be with because they're supposed to complete you and fulfill you. So that whole message about I don't need a man, I've never, I've never uh, uh, um had any have any type of had any type of respect for that. Um, but this is this woman's way of doing things, is presenting herself as someone that is angelic, someone that is very hardworking. Uh, someone giving and things like that, but the truth is being revealed about this woman. She is quite the opposite. This is someone that's very cold hearted. Someone that feels entitled will do anything to have anything that she wants from a masculine or from anyone in general. So she will pretend to be an empress energy, even though she could be like the devil in disguise, the devil in flesh, a beautiful devil, basically, right? And people are seeing the truth about that. Or whoever this masculine is, this emperor is, is seeing the truth that this woman has been pretending to be something that she is not for a while. And he's kind of over it. This is like um someone taking charge of their life. This masculine is taking charge of his life and just kind of walking away from this crazy woman um, to kind of have peace. So this is him standing his ground. Something I'm hearing as well is that you, this empress, queen of cups, Queen of Wands, you are also taking authority in your life, right? You are taking charge, making sure that people are not trying you. You are laying down the laws, the rules of your life. You you are working on stabilizing yourself, being round, grounded all around. And the fact, the reason why you're showing up here in your masculine emperor energy is because of everything that has been going on behind the scenes this has forced you into an energy that you wouldn't naturally reside in but you have been given no other choice so this lets me know that you are someone that has a balance of feminine and masculine energy because you're showing up here as the empress energy and the emperor energy right and that's beautiful and your character is being exposed here as well you are someone that is solid you have very good character um you are someone that is also very strong-minded uh self-minded which is a good thing you don't have a problem with defending yourself as you have been defending yourself against these people but in a subtle but powerful way as well and they were expecting you to be defeated by now and some of these people are waking up and just wondering like what the heck is going on why is this person not gone yet why are they still here how is this person still waking up every day and being happy what the heck is going on we've done this a thousand times and we've always been successful why are we not successful with this one and this is because of who you are and your connection to source your purpose on earth in this lifetime you are meant to change a lot of people's lives the very people that are coming after you are the very people that will be needing you in the future to help them so you know, when they are doing all of these extracurriculum activities, you just let them be. You just like, you know how how dark workers are so addicted to wanting to cause endings for light workers. Like they are just so broken and hurting on the inside that they are so committed to hurting you. You need to be that committed to letting, to, to sitting back and watching people dig holes for themselves digging graves from, for themselves thinking that they're digging it for you you need to be that committed just stay quiet let people do what it is they want to do what they intend to do you are protected at the end of the day so it's all entertainment for you and source at the end of the day but be committed to letting people dig holes for themselves don't you know give them the reaction that they are looking for um, because this is how you end up losing yourself losing your mind and things like that just let them do what they want to do these people have been advised to let go, move on, but some of them are choosing not to, um, and some of them are. 
because right now they're fighting amongst themselves. They don't understand how all of their tactics are not working. They're recruiting new people and the new people are assuming that things are going to work out. It's not working out either. There's someone you work with that uh, made some type of contract with these people and I don't think he or she knows what they got themselves in. It's like they think playing mental games with you and you not saying anything means that they are succeeding or something of that nature. Um, you can always tell when someone has taken the wrong route because you will notice a change in their energy. So it's like, let's say you have a pastor that's typically down to earth. You can talk to them about anything. They're not very judgmental because they've experienced life and they are really there to show you or to just be understanding, right? So it's easy to talk to this person. So let's say on a regular basis, you talk to this person about everything, but one day, and they're always nice to you, smiling with you and things like that. But then one day they come in, all of a sudden they don't like you. They're acting standoffish or they're trying to play mental games with you and things like that. You already know the enemy has got into them and turned them. That should let you know that that person's faith was, faith was their faith was not as strong as it should be because if you are someone who is a man of God or a woman of God, the devil should not be able to lead you astray that easily, okay? So you have basically sold your soul to the devil trying to prove that you could do something that you are not going to be able to do, okay? Um, so as I love to do my beautiful recap, let's go ahead and do that. So you have abundance coming your way. Basically, the universe is illuminating your path. The universe is also illuminating who you are. He, she, it is showing people, these very enemies, a lot of them are being shown exactly who you are and that you are not to be fooled with. You are someone that is protected and being watched over 24-7. Um, you have success that is coming your way. You are working towards something. And this is something people have been trying to steal from you for a while, and they will not be able to do that because you are on the right path. This is something that you are guided to do, divinely guided to do. Whatever it is you are doing with your life is going to make a very big difference in the lives of people. And as I mentioned, the very people that are coming up against you, they are going to need you at some point as well. And you're showing up here as the Queen of Cups, which means that you are someone very loving, um, someone very compassionate and someone that, you know, you pour into other people, even though sometimes they may not pour into you. A lot of the times, a lot of the times, actually, people may not pour back into you. But regardless, you have enough love to give to the world. So you keep giving. Someone wanted, wanted you to, someone or this group of people wanted you living in fear, feeling anxious and things of that nature thinking that people are after you, you're going to lose this, you're going to lose that, you're going to be in poverty, this, 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 and that. But that is not your calling, that is not your portion in life. You have abundance coming your way. You're someone extremely hardworking. So the fruits of your labors are coming to you, right? Something is about to take off for you really fast. Like even if it's your career, a job position, a promotion, you have a lot of beautiful blessings coming your way because the universe sees who you are. Um, if you work for a company, your boss see you for exactly who you are. They know that you are hardworking. So you have a, a promotion that is coming towards you, your victory that you've been waiting for and things like that. And some of you, you might end up being really shocked about this. Uh, you may not be expecting it. Maybe this has been long overdue. You've been waiting for this. And while you are going through this uh, elevation in your life, your enemies are going to be humble. They're going through a humbling experience which is well overdue as well because these people have been putting in a lot of work behind the scenes to cause you endings, to steal your finances, block your finances, block your love life, block your abundance overall, and just cause you betrayal, betrayal after betrayal. Something I just heard is that these people are set on making you feel like there are no genuine people in the world. There is no love in the world. You are not supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be miserable because that is how these people are. They are unfulfilled in life. Um, you know, people that don't people that don't have any passion in life, they are the ones that think it is okay to tear other people down, destroy what other people are building. And this is because there is nothing that is important to them, nothing passionate, nothing they're passionate about in life, right? So if you have people like that, I don't see anything as really significant they just wake up every day nothing really 
significant is happening in their life and they're not making any like interesting moves for their future and they see other people taking actions to better their lives and build a career, build a, a legacy for themselves, it, it leads to jealousy for them. So they want to destroy that. They're like, who the heck do you think you are? Like, you think you're better than us. But nine out of 10 times, nine out of 10 times, what you are doing with your life has nothing to do with these people. You are just building a life for yourself, not thinking about anyone, not thinking how it's going to affect anyone because your focus is not on other people. It's on your path. If if people would just choose to focus on their paths, they will be doing the same thing as well. Instead of having this group mentality that is leading them to the slaughterhouse, because a lot of the stuff these people are doing is leading to nothing but karma and curses on their generations and things like that. This is why a lot of generations and families have a hard time thriving in life is because of the actions their ancestors took in other lifetimes against other people that did nothing to them simply out of jealousy and maliciousness, wickedness at the end of the day. So while your your enemies have been wanting you to experience all of these setbacks, they are the one going through they are the ones going through all of these setbacks, this confusion, fighting amongst themselves, wondering why their tactics are not working. Um you know, some of them, they may even have people call you pretending like it's for some type of genuine purpose, but it's really for them to see if one, what whatever it is they're doing is working, and two, if you have given up on life, and three, if you are no longer here. But they keep calling, and they keep hearing that you're still alive, you're still cheerful, you're still moving on, you're still balanced, um, but they are determined to take you down. So I guess we have to give the karmics an A for effort. Um, so while you are moving forward in life these people are being stuck basically in this karma that they have created for themselves right and even though they're being guided to walk away they're not doing that um there's someone in here that may be wanting to go on some type of spiritual healing find uh get in touch with their higher self um i don't know how sincere this is because these are a lot of people that just reside in a toxic uh vibrational state um, and this is because of the types of people they have associated themselves with over the years. So a lot of these people, you know, they're not a hopeless situation. It's just like they have a mindset that is a, a program to want to please other people, to want to fit in and things like that. They're seeking validation from the people around them, which is really sad. And this is a mindset that holds a lot of us back. It keeps us stagnant in life. And it's it's really, really sad, right? So you're coming out of the cold, you, the Empress energy. Uh, you may be uh, receiving some type of financial payout from someone or some type of, you know, just blessing from someone. Maybe someone sees what you've been going through or someone sees what a group of people have been trying to do to you from behind the scenes. And they may want to bring balance into a situation because they see your true character. They know that you are someone extremely hardworking, very committed to your craft. You have big plans for your future and things like that. Um, you're someone that's, you know, uh, guided by the universe, very loved. You are someone that's like a, a, a phoenix rising from the ashes, right? So no matter what you've been through, you've always held tight to your character, to who you are. You've never strayed from your path. Yes, you've had your ups and downs. Sometimes you have your emotional outbursts, but who does not? It's a human thing to do, right? But with light workers and dark workers, the dark workers would tend to want to highlight the few and far in between moments that a light worker with ha will have where they are uh, kind of uh, losing it a little bit. They may say something that they shouldn't say. That's all human nature. But these types of people will take it out of context to make you seem like someone malicious, someone mean, someone cruel, some someone just uh, 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 selfish when it's not the case, right? But then when you flip things around and you do the same thing with a dark worker, oh, you've committed a big crime. Like, how dare you put my flaws in my face? How dare you point out my wrongs? I should be able to point out your wrongs, but you can never point out mine. I kid you not. The BS is BSing. Anyways, you are an empress energy. You are full of abundance, full of life. You're spiritually abundant, physically abundant. Your abundance may not be in your hands physically yet, but it is coming to you. So please start to live like you have your abundance, no matter what state of living you may be in a lot of what we have in life has to do with our mindset what it is we're manifesting so 
do make an effort to stay in a positive mindset. Learn how to co-create with the universe so that you can uh, uh, create a beautiful life for yourself. Do not live or reside in negativity that is called that causes stagnation in your manifestation abilities and things like that, right? So no matter what's going on, try to maintain a positive energy about yourself. Remember to thank the universe. Remember to thank your, your, your guardian angels. Remember to thank your ancestors because they walked the path before you. You are here because of them, right? There was some type of betrayal that was supposed to come towards you, but it's not happening. Um, these people were planning to cause you a betrayal. Like they just wanted to knock you down once and for all because they've been trying for so long and nothing is happening. So they may have came up with the worst plan ever in their mind. They just knew that this was it. This was the big moment. They were going to take you down um, and it didn't go according to plan. Um, it's just that people are just really entitled. These people are just entitled. Um, it could also be that some of you, you were around a lot of dark energies. You were the light and these people became so drawn to you that they feel entitled to your energy. So they want to be around you, but your energy is so positive that it bothers them, right? You are a healer and these people are now ready to heal, not willing to heal. So their healing energy you have about yourself, it bothers them. Um, so instead of you know them just staying away from you they see you as like a target now they want to take you out things like that someone thinks they're taking you out someone in this group believes that taking you out is going to lead to some type of abundance uh, that is the ultimate curse so anything you do to an earth angel star sea crystal child is a curse it's going to be a curse and i don't i think people take these kind of things lightly um, if you're going to practice magic, I think you need to understand the depth of what you are doing and the consequences behind it. Um, people don't take this kind of thing seriously, but they are willing to indulge on it because they want to feel like they're living on living on the edge, doing something edgy and something risky until it comes back to bite them in the behind, like it's about to for these people or it is for these people, right? Um, they are being sat down. Someone is absolutely angry that an emperor is standing up and telling the truth making a choice for himself to move forward and take himself out of this toxicity because it is just extremely low vibrational and not leading to anything so someone in here may be defending you defending your character standing up for you because you are not there to stand up for yourself uh, so that is what this emperor is doing so these people may be feeling extremely sick sickened by this it's like, how dare you stand up for her? We told you to do this. We told you she was this way. We told you she was that way. Why would you speak on her behalf? Or why don't you want to be part of this anymore? Blah, 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 blah. Toxicity, toxicity, toxicity. Um, so, yes, there is an emperor, uh, a queen of cups in this situation that is experiencing an ending. She is the maybe the orchestrator of this group, one of the leads, one of the leads in this group. Um, the group is falling apart because they just could not take you down. Empress energy, the betrayal that they intended for you is happening to them. You have a brand new passion and beginning coming in love. Um, and this is something that is going to be long lasting for you, a lifetime partner. Someone wants you to be mentally conflicted about this decision. They don't want you choosing the right partner. So someone may want to come in and deceive you so that you can end up choosing the wrong person and end up in another toxic cycle. Someone in this group feels entitled to what belongs to you, this relationship they wanted. And this is because this person has never had any type of genuine connection with another person. Um, this person doesn't know what genuine love is. This is like one of those superficial people that's always been in a superficial relationship. It's that what can my man buy me? Oh, my man bought me a purse. My man bought me a car. My man bought me some clothes. And but is your man fulfilling you mentally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually? No. And are you doing the same for him? No. So it's a useless relationship at the end of the day. So this person is jealous that you have a connection with a masculine energy here. Um, and they want to interfere or they've been interfering with this connection for a long time. And it's been put to an end. This person wanted to steal this Whatever it is, this blessing, this connection, there's something about your resources someone wanted to steal, but they are being forced to walk away and see things from a higher perspective. They're being shown that in order to have what it is that belongs to you, they will have to work for it, but they're not willing to do the work. Karmics are never willing to do the work. 
They just want things to be handed to them. Okay, unlike us that prefer to work for what we want in life, other people want handouts. Um, you should be embarrassed. Anyways, they're being sat down and they're throwing some type of temper tantrum. Nobody cares. I think this masculine sees the truth about this woman that she brings nothing to the table. This could have been someone that pretended to be nurturing because if she shows up as the queen of cups reverse, which is how I'm seeing her, there is nothing nurturing about this woman. This is someone that is emotionally imbalanced, someone manipulative and things of that nature. And this emperor is kind of leaving her on the sidelines that, you know what? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I was turn, trying to turn her HOE into something that she cannot be and never was meant to be. I, I'll see you later. That's what that is. Anyways, your success is guaranteed. You may end up being in like the public eye on, on the world stage, you know, changing people's lives or something that you may create. It may have something to do with the mental, something has having to do with your words and you, you're going to be successful in business, right? Uh, you may end up being like self-made and people are going to admire you because you're, whatever it is you're going to be doing is going to lead to a lot of change in the lives of people, okay? And you are taking quite uh, uh, quite the stance in your life, right? You're showing up here as the queen of wands as well, which means you may be in some type of battle mode. It's like these people are coming after you and you are standing your ground. You say, I don't care how many of you there are. I know the forces that are backing me up. So I already know that you all don't stand a chance against me. So bring it on. And this is exactly the energy that you need to be in. Kudos to you. Remain in that until this war is over. These people won the battle, some of their bat battles, but you are destined to win the war. There is nowhere in creation where darkness ever overcomes light. Everything there is comes from the light. So that should conclude the sentence, the story at the end of the days, at the end of the day. But you know, these karmics are determined to believe otherwise. Um, so you can be expecting some type of uh, 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 offer to you from a masculine energy, from an emperor that wants to give to you because they know what you are going through behind the scenes. They know what people have been doing to you. Um, so you're going to be receiving some type of blessing. Um, keep that on the hush hush. Do not share that with anyone because of how far people have been willing to cause you step backs and keep you stuck. Um, the sun car is out here, which means you are a uh, uh, your path is clear to move forward. You're someone that's very uh, um, positive. You have a positive energy about yourself, right? And you're someone that's very youthful. This emperor may be seeing you as that. I just heard that, that he sees you as someone extremely youthful, someone vibrant. Um, you have a different energy about yourself, a very unique energy about yourself that other people do not have. And this emperor may be drawn to that. Uh, so this is why you have like some type of genuine uh, and compassionate nature to you. And this emperor admires that and really loves that about you. It may be a little bit terrifying to him as well. Maybe this, this is someone that's interested in you romantically or something like that. Um, and he may feel like maybe because you're so sunshine all the time that you may be a little immature, but you're not immature. You just have a youthful energy about yourself is that you figure out the secret to life. Uh, how to heal and things like that so you don't really worry or take things too seriously because you already know how the story is going to end. You are uh, self-assured within yourself so you don't really have anything to prove to anyone. So you choose to reside in a positive state regardless of what's going on. Um, you have no reason to, to live in fear. However, you are being told to protect yourself. Be mindful of the people you let in your energy. Be mindful of where you're going and things like that. You are protected, but there's no there's no logic in putting yourself in danger and things like that. When if you have when you receive your financial payout, whatever resource or blessing is coming your way, make sure you do everything to protect that. Maybe even seek legal counseling uh, so that you can be guided on how to. Uh, um, invest your finance and things of that nature. Uh, you're someone that's just on a spiritual journey uh, and you've been on this journey for quite a while and you are doing a marvelous job. If you don't believe that, I would like you to take a few minutes and kind of reminisce over the past few years of your life, um, maybe the past eight years of your life where you used to be and where you are now, uh, emotionally, mentally, psychologically, and even spiritually where you are now. And just keep making the, taking those little steps one day at a time until you get to where you need to be, okay? 
Um, you have a fresh new beginning coming up ahead of you. It may feel a little down right now because you are going through some type of stagnation period, some type of um, loss, maybe even poverty and things like that. But you have a brand new beginning coming towards you that's going to open up brand new doors for you. You will have to put in a lot of work and things like that. But I don't think you're someone that's afraid of a little work uh, in order to be successful. But there are new doors opening up for you and you won't have to worry about these malicious characters coming for you. I mean, they're always going to come for you, but you won't have to worry about them being in your energy because you'll be so far gone that some of these people will be praying and wishing that they were around you basically, right? Some of these people are going to be wishing that they could pick up the phone and just talk to you or just be able to reach out and hug you and touch you. And But then it's like, if you look at the things that they've been doing and then what's coming in the future, it's really sad. Um, the thing about this situation is that all of these people that got together, none of them have any like spiritual gifts that enables them to see the future, but you do. You can see the future. Some of you have spiritual gifts that allows you to have vision, have dreams. You can hear uh, the, you can hear things. You can feel, see. Uh, like for me, I have all of the clair, clairvoyance and things like that, so I can hear, talk, see, touch anything you can think of. Um, I'm highly spiritually gifted, um, but some that's an aspect of me that I don't. I won't put it all the way out there because some of the stuff I can do is a little bit terrifying. So I will keep it to myself. Okay. <laughs> oh my Lord. Anyways, uh, stand your ground. Don't let anyone uh, um, make you feel afraid. You may have something going on with court or maybe this emperor has something going on in court and it's going to be quite, he's going to be successful or you're going to be successful in whatever court case that comes up out of this, there are going to be legal charges because some of these people have gone far and beyond to invade your life because they're so obsessed with you. I don't think it's healthy for anyone to be this obsessed with another person, but this is your reading. I will see you in your next one. Have a good day. Goodbye for now.